So now that we know how the template structure looks, let's focus on editing existing templates. When we talk about editing, we are talking about two sorts of editing that we can perform. The first is that we can edit the template properties. By template properties, we mean the properties in the content area, like the document description. The second type of edit is editing the actual content of the template itself. So perhaps I want to correct a spelling mistake in my template, or change a sign-off text. This can only be done by opening the template itself, and then editing as needed. To edit template properties, simply select the template you wish to change and edit the property. Let's change the name of TM001. I will select it and change the description here to Correspondence to Agent. Once I'm happy with my change, I will click Save. You follow the same route if you want to change any of the other properties on screen. To edit the template content, we need to open our template for editing. To do this, select the language version of the template and then click on Open Document. This will open up the document in the relevant application for editing. In my example, I am editing a MS Word template, so MS Word will open. Note the little pop-up window that has appeared. We'll discuss this in detail later, but for now take note of the buttons shown here. You will use the Save button to save changes made, and the Close button to close the template. So I will now fix this spelling mistake I have on screen. And once done, I will click Save to save my changes, and then Close to close my template. Lastly, take note of the icon displayed next to my templates. These differ from one another. Patricia supports multiple template formats. We have MS Word, PDF, and RTF, or Rich Text Format. The best use case for each will be discussed later, but be aware when editing documents, the editing interface might differ. If I choose an RTF template and click Open Document, the Patricia RTF Editor launches. If I choose a Word template, MS Word will launch. But regardless of the editor type, the actual steps are the same. I simply make my change and click Save where needed.